Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here in Kaiser Redux in which we're playing as the Union of Britain because it's been a very long time since I've played them. But let's begin with the 1936 Congress of the Trade Unions. This year's talk will probably be a bit special. Long time chairman uh, Philip Snowden has indicated that he tends to resign. The decentralationist autonomists led by Nicholas Eglais, centralizationist Maximus under Daddy Oswald Mosley and Status Quo Federation Federationists Arthur Horner, with his egalitarian and pacifist running mate Annie Kenny, are all vying for superiority. These will be nights to remember, but as you can tell from the thumbnail, <clears throat> we're already going down a certain path, but the New Britain. After the defeat of France, the UK's war with Germany dragged on inconclusively for two years. In 1921, the stalemate was finally broken when Lloyd George agreed to the German proposal of a peace with honor, while Britain's overseas territories remained largely intact, the faith of the people did not. In 25, disaster struck, a minor labor dispute in the coal fields of South Wales quickly escalated. And after six weeks of rioting, looting, and pa pamphleteering, most of the establishment, including the royal family, had fled to Canada. A provisional, provisional government of revolutionary groups dissolved into what was little left of Parliament and declared a new union of Britain. Eleven years later, the Trade Union Congress still forms the centerpiece of the politics of the federated and democratic union, the British people, are secure on the island, content to build socialism in isolation, protected by the strong Republican Air Force and Navy, and with each county, protected by its own popular militia, who act both as a reserve military and new police. Yet, the, with the world seemingly ready to erupt into chaos, many are starting to wonder if Britain had as a duty to spread the revolution to our former colonial territories after all. <clears throat> The monarchists in Canada cannot be allowed to plot against the Union indefinitely. Fascinating. But yeah, as you can tell, I definitely want to go down a certain um, handsome route. We'll put it like that. Very, very handsome. We do the National Spirits Militias, which is okay. Pretty cool. And then we also have, which I like, Desire for Revenge. More population, recovery rate, attack, defense, support, territory, organization. But Comrade Mosley calls a meeting. Comrade Mosley of the Maximus faction is invited George Valois, a leader of the French Surrealians, the Swiss revolutionary Georges Ultramar, Georgian socialist Isov Yuga. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Yuga Chevili, Yuga Chevili, and the Italian National Syndicate, or Syndicist, Benito Daddy Mussolini, to uh, Birmingham to compile a manifesto stating their joint aims for a new kind of socialism called totalism. Chairman Snowden's Federation, or Federationists, should keep an eye on this development, worrying to say the least. <clears throat> and we should get a little event about some sort of charter, I'll play eventually. Man, Kaiser Redux has got a lot of things in it, but I definitely, definitely am excited for this campaign, because, well... I haven't played the Union Britain very much, and they always run out of fuel. Like, my goal... So my goal for this campaign is obviously we're playing the Union Britain. Oh, Crown Britain and Total Charter. Ah, oh, yes. So handsome. Anyways, um, I want to have a... Sm uh, maybe not a small, but a very strong, small-ish military force. Now, I want to use a lot of tanks. I want to try to use a lot of tanks. It's going to be very difficult to use a lot of tanks. We actually have some infantry here, as you see. We have a lot of militia, as you know the game event said. But I want to try to go down mobile... Mobilized warfare, mobile warfare, mobile warfare. I'm sorry, I cannot speak right now. Oh my goodness. Um, go mobile warfare and try to use tanks a whole bunch. Even though that costs so much fuel, and we will never have enough fuel here. We just will not have enough fuel. So we're trying to get a lot of civvies. So we get more fuel. We're training a lot of the guys, as, as you can see. But I really want to try to use as many tanks as possible, which is not going to be very helpful when we need a lot of fuel. So we're going to build up a lot of refineries eventually, and I might even build up some fuel cells. We'll see. But right now, get more civvies so we can import more stuff. Not just the call of the game right now. So, the 1936 Trade Union Council begins. After weeks of preliminary meetings and preparation, today the main part of the Trade Union Council 36 has begun. The various factions of the Congress have sent their delegates and their leaders to London to argue for their position. We shall see what happens. Let the Congress begin, as China does explode. Now, we will try to help out uh, Spain, the CNT, whenever they explode. Um, the oh, right, kind of. I do do play as Mongolia sometime. Uh, can we actually help you guys out here? Would that be possible? I guess we probably could. And do I want to get involved down here? Mm, I don't know. I want to see. I, I want them to test. I want them to test themselves first. Actually, could probably test them. Oh, do they have an airbase? Can we give you some planes? No, it doesn't look like. Uh oh, Kornilov storms Moscow. Will Russia ever rest? Probably not. Well, I was hoping that they would have a civil war, but I guess not. But ac economic policy vote. The debate has wandered into the area of economics, as has been predicted. Every faction has put forward their own suggestions. Most people assume that Maximus will win this debate, with since Oswald Mosley is a major figure in the British economy these days. Uh, yeah, the economy must be expanded, centralized, and streamlined. Yes, please. <clears throat> Alright, so we have no guns. We have a slight bit of artillery, some anti-air, some support equipment... Some strategic bombers, no fighters. <clears throat> so really, we need to have a strong navy, strong air force, small but strong like milit army. So we'll see what happens. Obviously, like I don't remember. Honestly, I really don't remember the last time I actually played 
as the Union of Britain, but we're definitely not as strong as I'd like us to be, but internal policy vote. The debate has wandered into the area of internal policy. As been predicted, every faction has put forward their own little suggestions. The outcome is unsure since it is here. The real decision of the future of the Union will be made. The local governments must be brought in line with the talk. Absolutely. Absolutely. positively Now we get... How much PP every day? 1.07, that's not bad. I think if I remembered... I actually said this up. I was going to play Kaiser Reich first, because it's been so long since I played Kaiser Reich. But I was convinced to do Kaiser Redux instead. Plus campaign. We'll probably grab Marconi Syndicate. Oh, it kind of sucks that we're already on partial mobilization. Ooh. But we'll go probably grab this one first. That's really good to get. Uh, Helen Crawford. Let's see. Oh, he's already here. Nice. Um, Nicholas. And military policy vote. The debate has wandered into the area of military affairs. As has been predicted, every faction has put their own suggestions, of course, but they're really the different sentence here. The debate is heated. Since the last few days, it only have two clearly shown the deep rift within the tuck. The military must be expanded, and the local militia is placed under tuck control. Vohil. Vohal. Um, I would like to use heavy armor, actually, maybe, but we're not going to be just because... That, the production cost for heavy armor is incredibly high. It's so high. So I don't think it would be best for us. But departure of the revolutionary Latvian Legion. At the end of the Great War, following the Russian comrades, rose up in the revolution, creating the Iskolat Republic. It was unfortunately short-lived, destroyed by German arms, and though many Latvians served in the Bolshevik government, their comrades in Petrograd were defeated as well. Their exiles escaped to the West, where socialist-leaning Latvian communists had already been firmly established and accepted them with open arms. The UK has been one of these places, where the, and when Britain collapsed in a revolution as well, these Latvians enthusiastically supported it. The Latvian social democracy, once a sister party of the Bolsheviks, was re-established and participated in elections to the Trade Union Congress. Now, they are led by Jacobs Peters. Peters, Possibly, possibly the man who was the legendary Peter the Painter, leader of the Latvian anarchists in the Battle of Sydney Street in 1911, was a natural fit to lead the Latvian exiles in England. He was deeply integrated into British society and in contact with its socialist movements. Even his comrades in Russia remarked that he spoke with an Englishman's accent. During the intervening years, he assembled the revolutionary Latvian Legion, a small regiment of trained Latvian exiles ready to return home to instigate a revolution. Now, when the United Baltic Duchy is collapsing, he has found his chance. With a brief yet heartfelt goodbye, Peter has offered his goodbye to his English wife, his friends, and made a last speech before the Trade Union Congress, where he assured the Union and the rest of the Third International that he shall return the leader of the Second Escolat Republic. Good luck, comrades. If we're going to lose 100 map, uh, blue guns, oh, we already don't have any. Uh, it's almost 500 manpower, that's fine, whatever. Um, the Polish military seizes control. Also, to set up this campaign, I've not touched anything. I don't know what's going to happen. I, I did not make I did not force any country to go down any specific route for this campaign. So, just to let you know, everything you see here is just all natural, because we like it all natural sometimes. On the last day of the talk, Congress, Chairman Philip Snowden climbed up to the podium and made a speech. He claimed that in the face of massive rifts within the talk, and due to his in uh, age, he intends to resign his post. He has also pulled out the cliché time with his family bet that all politicians do. The congregation stood silent as he climbed down from the podium and made his way out of the hall. The country is shocked that in a few days' time the talk will have to vote on a new chairman. Shocking to say the least, but Maximus Defense Force. The Union of Britain is a nation of free freedom and liberty. The revolution has broken the chains holding workers back from expressing their beliefs. Despite this, we must not allow ideologues to push anti-revolutionary rhetoric. The task of the Defense Force is to defend the revolution. Absolutely, we get some po totalism, more pop uh, political power, better supply consumption, better recovery rate, better reinforce rate. I love it, love it, love it, love it. And also, we have a lot of things here. Second, Second Soviet Russia. Okay, well, I mean, good luck with that, guys. You know, good luck, but... Uh, we still need more guns. We definitely need a lot more tanks, because I want a lot of tanks. Oh, we need more motorized. Chairman election! <sighs> the Tuck has decided to vote for Big Daddy Gamer Oswald Mosley's Maximus with an overwhelming majority. Papa Mosley will become the new chairman of the Tuck. Congratulations, Chairman. Congratulations, my comrade. Ah, oh, it's so nice having him. Um, honestly, I don't like these divisions. I really do not like Militia. Um, how many guns do they use? 450, huh? This division, the Durham, has artillery. 450, that, oh my gosh, we're not going to have any infantry here, so. I think it's just, I think it's this one, just because this one is what we just saw. And then we have infantry divisions, which is basically the same thing, but without artillery. And we have tank support, which is okay for early game, but honestly, it's not really worth it. So, just going to do like that, that's fine for now. Uh, do, uh, yeah, that's fine. Train as well. Oopsie. What the heck? Nope. It sucks that we really don't start with any armor. That really sucks. Uh, don't don't use tanks right now. Just convert them all to 
for this one. That's fine. Third International. France has gone through with its designs to hold the first Congress of the Third International, and as we as expected, I received an invitation. It would be foolish not to send a delegation. Do I do anything else here for you? No. Uh, we'll probably have to go scavenger just because we don't have a lot of stuff here. Obviously, we'll get involved in American Civil War. We're led by Bill Alexander. So, ah, uh, Bill Alexander. You know, honestly, like playing some of these routes, like I played Harold Wilson, SLP, TNO, England. It's kind of cool seeing, you know, the same people, but I don't know. I always like when I'm making thumbnails and learning about campaigns, like actually learning who these people were in real life. I think it's really cool. But all the delegates have arrived. Um, honestly, if you want to read about this, please go ahead. This happens probably every campaign, so... Uh, if you play, you know, any one that's in the Third International. It's pretty much all the same stuff. Chairman of the Comité de Salute takes up the floor. We must use any means to overthrow the international bourgeoisie. Very cool. Pretty good. And, yes. Now we're looking really bad here. Syndicalism in Spain. Yep, the French pledge of support and ask all other members to do the same. More savings, please. More savings. we got to build, build, build. Big Bill Haywood and the combined syndicates. Unemployment radicalism in Latin America? Yes, please. Oh, look, we changed your flag. Yeah, the other flag was oh, the old legacy flag, but Barty come and ask for support, send military advisors to train the army, um, women's role in the worldwide revolution, so be it then. Uh, you know, let me read this one. Yesterday, Helen Crawford took the stage with her flaming speech about the women's role in the re world revolution, according to her arguments. Without women's participation in industry and the armed forces, it may be impossible to defeat the many enemies of the proletariat. Tempting as it may seem, the political climate in Britain is not ready for such a decision. We need to wait for the Congress of the Trade Unions to fall in, to fall in order to force the matter, so be it then. He is just handsome. I'm just sorry. It's just white terror. If you want to be that, please go ahead. I asked for support. Uh, you know what? I don't want to lose political power. I really don't. But you know what? We'll help him out. There you go. Just handsome. The world economic crisis in the role of Third International. With the Berlin stock market crash, mass employment has been arisen in Europe and South America, and trade unions have begun to grow at both as a result. The Grand Protector. Ooh, I like my worst part, but let's do the Grand Protector. While it is unconstitutional, you unify the offices of General Secretary and Chairman of the Trade Union Congress and the new Office of Grand Protector of the Union of Britain will give us much more power to push through our reforms. End of the First Congress? Okay. Great. Great, great, great. Um, is he not handsome? Like, let's be real. Is he not handsome? He is, totally. Anyways, he's like my Reinhard Heydrich when playing as, I guess, Britain. I guess you could say. Cool. All right. Actually, what is in the factions? Japan? Oh, oh yes. And we were trying to get better tanks. Yeah, I definitely want to get better tanks. Uh, we can wait to do this one first. Let's go mobile warfare. We gotta start doing that stuff now. 36. Nothing here. Not too much that we really care about. Radio. Sure, why not? So that I expect, obviously, Entente. Russian Empire is gonna be someone we're gonna have to kill off eventually. Southern Italy. Entente. Canada. Pretty normal stuff. Pretty darn normal. And we do need to get a lot more army XP. I really want to get a lot of army XP. We want to go down here to uh, Kingdom of Spain. Definitely. Uh, there you go. Keep training, guys. It's not looking great, but we'll, we'll work on it. Oh, yeah, better tanks. Yes, please. We're going to need a lot of tanks. Ah, uh, Maximus Defense Force. 70 to focuses. Kind of kind of not great, but whatever. And hopefully we get some more political power, so we can actually go this way. We need more PP. More PP, please. Keep training, guys. Keep training. We have so many ships to train. I love that we have a really large navy. Doesn't mean it's any good, but I like that we have a large one. Oh, yes. What's in Russia? If you want to read about that, please go ahead. Which one of these does not have a carrier? You have a carrier already. You do not, so. They all need some sort of air cover. And cut. Oh, we're working on that. We're working on carrier fighters as well. Light tanks are looking good. Support equipment is looking pretty good. Anti air is looking great as well, even though we're going to have a massive shortage later on. Fuel is going to be probably the biggest enemy we have. Fuel is definitely going to be the biggest enemy. Keep working. Come on. Keep going. Busan Treaty. Very nice. Very nice. Let me ask for that. How much? I thought we had a little bit. It's not really worth lowering our trade levels right now just yet. Actually, what are, what are planes like? Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so bad. I'm glad I went with that one. Oh my goodness, that's so bad, so bad, so bad. So, Maximus Defense Force. Supply consumption goes down. Yeah, that's so good. So good. What is France doing? They elected the anarchists. Sebastian Faure. All right. Socialist education, economic reforms, desire for revenge. Oh, yes. Political extremism. 
We like political extremism. March of the Biff Boys, Bo. The Maximus Defense Force, more commonly known and referred to as the Biff Boys, are a paramilitary force composed of Mosley's most loyal comrades. They serve as a steward of the revolution. Their mission is simple. Do what is necessary to defend Britain, and most importantly, the chairman, from all threats from within the nation. Dressed in their infamous black polo neck uniforms, they assert the dominance of Maximism across the nation. Mosley has promised the workers of Britain liberty, freedom, and democracy. However, there exist threats that would harm Mosley's vision for Britain. To defend freedom and democracy, these threats must be dealt with. Hurrah for the Biff Boys! Gee, just so handsome. I'm sorry. <laughs> so incredibly handsome. My God. Uh, we can do the common line, which is pretty good. Uh, let's see. We do want to increase, like, you know, concentrated. Oh, concentrated. Dispersed industry. Oh. Ooh, maybe I went down the wrong way. Because usually I'm going down this route. Uh, you know, getting more millies are, is super important, too. I don't know. Usually I like to go down dispersed, though. British rail reform would be nice. Another research stop would be extremely good. A new Lee Enfield would be good. Okay. So we go down this way. We lose a lot of political power. We get a lot more army XP. Decentralized command. A matter of urgency. The revolutionary police, much like their prior counterparts, are inefficient when it comes to properly lacking threats or tackling threats. It is due to this factor that Mosley was persuaded by his comrades to provide full immunity and power to the MDF. Although, not exactly legal. Few are in a position to question Mosley's actions. The MDF has been given permission to investigate unions suspected of disloyalty in order to better secure the country for Mosley and to make sure no traitors are in our midst. While on one routine inspection inside union headquarters, an MDF detachment under leadership of Comrade Ted Lewis discovered plans for an organized protest to take place directly in front of Mosley's planned speech at Cable Street. The documents included a list of notable union leaders and politicians who had associated with the planned protest, though... It is curious as to why such an important document would be found so easily. Regardless, these inspections are secretive and unknown to Union leaders. If such a protest were to take place, it would have drastic consequences on the Maximus' perceived power and popularity. Many, including Comrade Lewis, have suggested raiding the homes of those detailed on the list. This could be effective in putting down this opposition, however. Forcing the police to exercise such a controversial operation along with blatantly going against Mosley's stated commitment to freedom and democracy could have even worse consequences. Execute the operation? Such a mass arrest should surely cause more trouble, right? So, with Kaiser Redux... You can go the Lawrence route, so, uh, but I'll, 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 I'll pass your matter of urgency, eh, execute operation, there's that one, complete, yep, so as long as we don't go, um, revolution, and don't go with, well, as long as we go revolution, but don't go mar declare martial law, we'll be okay, <clears throat> choose to ignore it, cool, um, you know, this goes poorly, you know, I'll, I'll save it for you guys, that's fine with me, oh, look, my auto save, um, <laughs> This seems like it's a really bad idea. Execute it. Let's see what happens. Because if it doesn't go well, well, I'll fix it up. Now, I'm not going to buy that, please. Go ahead. Hey, propose an international avant-garde. All uh, an effort was made by the French government to establish an international avant-garde who aimed to create a new st artistic styles, unique in their unorthodoxy presentations, something this world has never seen before. French government believes it will be a helpful tool in spreading cynicalist teachings through nonviolent means. Now they expect us to join on it. Yes, count us in. Hey, 1.05. Very good. International avant-garde. Very good, very good, very good. Now, reports of anti-Mosley activity. Ever since Oswald Mosley's ascension to the role of chairman of the Tuck, the zealous firebrands have managed to arouse both widespread adoration from some deep disgust within others. Chief amongst his detractors have been the numerous camps of conservative generals and officers that compose much of the Union's old guard. As Mosley pursues his grand ambitions further and further, he's emboldened in those foes into what the state has deemed as anti mosley action. Or... AMA. These rabble rousers will cause detrimental effects to the Mosley regime's stability, and as such, if the new chairman seeks to hold onto his newfound power, they will have to be dealt with one way or another. If Mosley intends, instead focuses or chooses to ignore these disgruntled old war dogs, it is almost certain that his administration will quickly be quickly overcome. Politics. Any threat is credible. See to that these old dogs are put out to pasture. Oh. Isn't that one of these here? Hobart? Yeah. The anti Mosley activity in the army. Which is less than 30 days, huh? No. Oh. And choose to ignore it and go down a tree. So there's that one. So Paget stops being a field marshal. Go back. And for this one, like it says, this one, da, 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 put those all dogs out to pasture and go down a tree. So go do this one. Um, yeah, that's fine. And a matter of urgency, choose to execute the operation. Cool. After some p time pondering the consequences of the existence of a unified political opposition, Chairman Mosley came to the conclusion that the potential instability and chaos caused by open disres disrespect of power is a threat greater than any commitment to freedom. After all, are people not at their most free when they are serving the state? The freedom to preserve or serve a purpose, to, to be proud of one's nation and its achievements, is a, is a freedom Mosley provides. It is for this reason that under the newly passed defense regulation 
18b. Mosey authors a joint MDF police operation to arrest those suspected of threatening the police or the peace of the nation. Along with those names on the union's list for opposition, many have been suspected of disloyalty without solid evidence too are, are being targeted. Precisely coordinating raids or coordinated raids across London occurred with police dragging out suspected traitors to the revolution. The media arm of the Maximus Revolutionary British People's Broadcasting Company have already stirred up news reports of a traitor's coup foiled by brave comrades such as Ted Lewis, the show of the force. Across the entire city is enough to convince even the most hardcore counter-revolutionary that Mosley's tight grip over the nation will not be easy to shake. A victory for the nation! Look at all that pee, -pee. I would like to improve working conditions, though. Um, Send in the army. Hmm. All it costs is PP for that one. You get the same benefit. It costs PP and Alpa, which I do not like. Um, is there anything else here? Yeah, look at all the stuff we have here. Nice. What about the armor stuff? I mean, it's 36. There's no more research we can do for armor. Planes-wise, there is some stuff we can do for, you know, fighters, of course, and carrier fighters, and naval bombers, and carrier naval bombers, because we do need to focus on that. As before we do anything else, we can't go down to war economy. We don't need to raise conscription level just yet. Getting research stuff done will be really, really nice. Oof. Now, Air Force, though. Yeah, the Air Force. Navy? I haven't even looked at the Navy, really. Realistically, getting a better, bigger deck size now will probably be good. Uh, before we make a decision here, let's take a look. Navy, how are we looking? Uh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, Navy, it's Air Force time. Cool. Heavy bombers. We have a lot of naval bombers. We're not using cast. We're going to use tactical bombers in this campaign. I might use Supermarine Syndicate. That might be good. Production cost goes down, but I want better quality stuff. Yeah, let's choose this one. More research speed. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we're also trying to build up some more stuff here, too. So... You know what? Let's trade away from one of these. Who's red? Anyone really care? Bar there you go. Bar two coming. There you go. Help him out. Help him out. Rubber? Who is anyone else red here? Ah, no. No, that sucks. Dutchies, Indies, Liberia. Uh, well, we'll do one of these guys. Just to make sure that we're constant production. The rally of Cable Street. Mosey took the platform overlooking thousands of supporters, firmly gripping the microphone he scanned the horizon. Engulfed by the unwavering support, the chants of We Want Mosley created an atmosphere of pure zeal. The flags of Maximus blocked the sky. A true blockade of support that towered over any attempt to protest is clear that the rest worked. Without leadership, the opposition was powerless. Biff boys dealt with any troublemakers brave or stupid enough to cause a scene. Let's reality Cable Street, the heart of Mosley's opposition, represented more than rhetoric. It was symbolic to the chairman's control over the entire nation. Let us to Europe and to the world proclaim that the heart of this great people is undaunted and invincible. This flag so challenges the winds of destiny. This flame will still burn. This glory shall not die. The soul revolution is alive and England again dares to be great. A momentous occasion. Nice. Let's do that one. Uh, we got, I want to get all the ships done uh, with their um, training. This stuff can all wait since it's not super important. Uh, let's get some more stability actually this time. So in the army, I don't want to hurt factory output. Are we going to lose political power? Recruitable population doesn't matter at recovery rate right now, so... It makes more sense for us to do that one. And we also have the Revolutionary Admiralty, which is very nice. You actually get daily naval XP, which I think is extremely strong. Republican Air Force. Well, maybe not extremely strong, but it's pretty strong, I would say. You know what? It's 35 day focus. Why not? But the thought request manpower, if you want to read about that, please go ahead. We'll send you some stuff, guys. Here, you're going to have both. Want more daily army exp or naval XP, the office of the Admiralty. And Marine Affairs was a body responsible for the administration of the Royal Navy and served as a forum for communication between officers. The Republican Navy currently lacks any comparable office, with naval affairs often tied up in politics. Thus, we must establish an independent and thoroughly socialist ad Admiralty. Because we need to be really, really strong when it comes to the Navy. Because the French Navy is not bad. But it's better to be prepared than not prepared. Anything else besides ships here? No. Measureless class, that's fine. Um, no other ships? Okay, that's fine. Actually, how far are you guys are training? Oh, you are barely all the way there. We just don't have enough fuel. But now we can edit our visions a little bit more. <sighs> we don't have enough guns. Anti air would be nice. Light tanks. I think I'm just going to increase these light tanks. Make them stronger. Uh, it doesn't matter to me. Just make them stronger. Merge the post of chairman and general secretary. Uh, we should, we can merge the positions of chairman and general secretary. Well, this is very much unconstitutional, it'll also very much strengthen our own position. A strong leader for a strong union. This doesn't seem like a good idea. No, 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 no. Mosley's a man with a plan. I mean, that mustache will not lie. We lose political power by 0.15, but we get more research efficiency gain. Factory output and military factory construction speed. So now we only get 0.94. Look, he changed his portrait. Look how happy he is. You can't go wrong with a happy, smiling Mosley. But the X 
Exchequer's post. With Moses securing his power in the talk, he has to make up his mind about the Exchequer's office. His retaining him retaining his post will create a concentration of power that is not only prohibited by the Union's cons constitution, but also may affect the quality of Maximus rule. The only problem is choosing a suitable candidate. Ab Mofat, director of the Coventry Machine Plants, Kirkwood, Bevan, Moses has proven his efficiency shall remain despite the constitution. Absolute control sounds like fun. I really want to do that route. Ooh. I don't know, man. Hmm. And this stuff, I mean, we're not going to choose. It doesn't really matter. Uh, government, foreign minister, head of state. That's not bad. Uh, I mean, look at all this stuff. Eric Blair. Horner. Yeah, of course. Clement. M McAtee. Or not McAtee. Atlee. Oh, there's Bevan. Look at that. Maxton. Uh, look at all these guys here. A lot of, a lot of dudes. Oh no, he's proven his efficiency and shall remain despite the Constitution. Mm, I don't want to lose the political power, but it doesn't really mean too much right now. Ah, oh, we're going to go all the way. Maxim maximize it. We're Maximus, right? Maximize his power. That just that just makes sense, right? It just makes sense. The new the Enfield, centralized command. Well, obviously we got to go central command. That's not... Whoa, 20% more? Division organization? That's actually pretty strong. I like that a lot. That's pretty good. I'll get some of that too. Um, what else are we going to do next? Dissolve the militias. Yeah, we'll do that one. Ooh, that's not bad. Reform militias are not bad, but obviously we can't do that one. Women soldiers? Ooh, we heard... Oh, that consumer goods is so bad. Oh my goodness. Tank research would be good to get. I like that one too. This would be nice, but... Actually, can we send this one? No, we don't. Yeah, we can. That's fine. Uh, the red. The common land. Get more monthly population would be very good. Max factory since it goes up by quite a bit. Research efficiency gains pretty good too. A unite and bring would be nice. I do want to get the revolution, which would be very good. And establish the MOT Ministry of Truth would be very nice as well. Very, very nice. Uh, the Phalansteras assistance arrives. As part of the Phalansteras international program, our comrades in Paris and London have just delivered us much needed help. Industrial machines, mining equipment, weapons, ammo, and more. All this is being unloaded into our ports, and airports are being transported across the country. This is the common land. While Britain was the birthplace of the Industrial Revolution, much of our nation remains rural and reliant on agriculture to facilitate increasing crop yields. All land seized from noble estates during the revolution shall be parceled to rural syndicates. Britain's land shall now belong to our people alone. Big Bill Hayward. Oh, Bill Hayward was elected. Look at that. Nice. Ah, the first stink division has arrived, my friends. Very good. Very good. Uh, you, are, you are extremely good on defense. Wow. I want to do Raymond here. But, oh, but that extra supply consumption. Yeah, I want I want someone who's better on supply consumption, too. Um, I want Scavenger, but I'm going to go Fortress Bus just for this guy. We'll see. You're going to train, though. You got to train. Light tanks. Um, actually, let's lower by one. Uh, the industrial program. It's become apparent to many in the international that it is the responsibility of all sufficiently developed syndicate nations to provide them industrial support to those nations who are less able to provide for themselves. The choice is now upon us to decide whether we should stand in solidarity with workers around the world by helping implement a massive program of industrial aid alongside our French brothers in arms. That sounds like a great idea. And research organization. As time has passed, it's quickly become apparent that global revolution requires far more than just devotion to the cause, with France and Britain being the only highly developed socialist countries in the world. It has become widely accepted that they should launch a long-term research aid program Program for other countries, and thus has begun a so called Falantera Internationale, or International in in Research Organization, a branch of the Falantera International Program aimed at providing technological support for socialist countries all over the world. The question now is whether we should join in this endeavor. Participation sounds quite bueno, as they might say in Britain on a rare occasion. Oh, wait, oh, we need more civvies, more civvies. Build, 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 build. build. Uh, go this too. Nice. More civvies. Maximize those civvies. That's not bad. Um, We want to have a good navy, so why not? We come in the land. Good, Norway. Good. We can do that concentrated industry, but we're going local talent initiative. Actually, why do we go? Why do I go down this way? It makes so much more sense to do concentrated industry, probably, for us than disperse. But I'm, I always choose that. My bad. Yeah, this. Oh, we should have done this way. I'll be honest. We should have done this way. My bad. That's my fault. It's not too late to change, but you know what? At this point, it doesn't really matter. It's, it's weird. We, we're allowed to go down certain routes here. Why do we... We should have been forced to go down this way. No, oh, but we are. You know what? I made a mistake. You know what? We are going this way. My bad. My fault. Uh, I chose the wrong one. Mm. <laughs> it's completely my fault. My bad. <laughs> I should have been paying more attention. My fault, guys. My apologies. But it's a focus. is a long focus. Uh, what do we want to do? I want to do carriers. Carriers are nice. If I do want to get that extra research slot, that'd be good. Liberal victory in Brazil, Dickens plan. This one would be good. Base strike, yeah. Kinda can wait though. Republican Air Force. 
No daily army XP, or air XP, I should say. Uh, that's not bad. I like that. Controlling the skies is really good. <clears throat> but United Britain, after we do some research. There we go. That's what we want. United Britain. Britain faces great adversity both within and without. While conflict with the reactionary nations may prove unavoidable, surely our nation and its people uh, should stand united. Enemies of the revolution must be confronted and eliminated by any means necessary. It has been decades since we forced capitalists out, yet we can't rest. Not until they're all defeated we will we be safe, but to defeat them, the worker spirit will not be enough. There are no two ways about it. Without oil, our planes, tanks, ships, crews, and anything like that will are nothing but scrap, no matter the skill of the crew. Since we first realized the issue, monumental effort has been spent attempting to cultivate domestic sources of oil. Some, like the shale oils in Scotland, have been seeing mild success. Others, like the French oil fields, have been near total failures. Fortunately, many saw this coming, so resources had already been put towards researching synthetic sources of oil. If we divert enough resources in this direction, it may just be possible. It don't have to be enough, though. Synthetic oil research, nice. Fuel gain from refineries, awesome, awesome, yeah. Yeah, good, that's good, 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 good. Common land, good, good, good. United Britain, followed up with what? Yeah, that was my bag. Central uh, industry research. Actually, you know, it's something to focus. I mean, it's, it's not bad. And I will switch this around. That's my fault. My my fault. I just I'm so used to choosing that one raw. So revolution. Well, this whole reform in the country business has turned out to be boring. Very, very boring, actually. We can attempt one swift strike to totally seize the means of our politics and make our political program a reality. This will be risky, though. TUC replaced by the National Council. After the revolution, the Trade Union Congress was elevated from Labor Union to the governmental power of the nation. The intention was to create a truly democratic system for where the first time in British history the workers themselves could rule, however. Since then, the talk has degenerated into a bureaucratic and corrupt mess of political scheming and became the new parliament. For this reason, Chairman Moses decided to rein in the talk using his newfound ability to pass legislation allowing for the formation, for the formation of a National Council. This council will be composed of members elected directly by the people to represent their field of expertise, much like the original goal of the talk. However, these councils will be loyal to the chairman and will serve to advise, not to broker deals driven for personal gain. All councillors will then be personally be approved by Mosley, who will uh, accept their democratic victory against their opponents. The talk has not officially been disbanded, rather reformed into a lower house of government. The talk will see its influence and political domination destroyed and provided with a new directive. Serve! The chairman. The tech was holding us back anyways. We lose some PP, but you know it is what it is. Whatever. Um, also, we're, I'm doing establish the uh, <clears throat> MOT. Under the leadership of Comrade Eric Blair, the Ministry of Truth will serve as a propaganda arm of the state. The citizens of the Union of Britain are not responsible to possess potentially counter-revolutionary thoughts. We must guide them away from such dangers. And also, I'm going back and doing concentrated industry. That's my fault completely. My bad. I should have realized that before. I just... Uh, more sub support. With the resources we sent to the Patagonians previously, they now believe we will be able to float their first sub and begin field trials. They're now asking us to send some advisors to help guide the vessels better and instruct their officers on proper procedure. Of course, anything for friends. Anything. Also, we did send soldiers to the South African People's Union, led by David Yvonne Jones and their radical socialists. They're at war with, uh, you know, basically the Entente. So I sent a one thing of infantry down here, so we'll see what happened. So, yeah. Hopefully these guys survive. I love to have South Africa in the third international, but whatever. Oh, look at these. Escolta. Republic of the Radical Socialists. Jacob Petrus. Ming Mendaugus the third, as well as Otto Sick. Very cool. And then always watching, always protecting. Oh, he has freedom of s s s s slavery. Oh, the American Civil War. Oh, it erupts. Very nice. Very good. And the next one we'll do is probably Central Industry Research, because we'll do this one in just a little bit. I'd love to get this stuff, but... I think, oh, that's a lot more political power. That's really nice. I want to get one of these done. So, to prepare our syndicate industry for the fight against capitalists, we should establish a department of central for department for central industry research. This office will help us overcome inefficiency. <gasps> Another tank division. Let's start training you boys. Boys, it's time to go to Chicago. You, me, and oh, Chicago. Oh gosh, dang it! Only one of you guys can go. Oh, that's so sad. It's all right. Raymond Briggs, you know what's good. And actually, at this point, let's uh, get at least maybe two more fuel, maybe? PSA, who's? Ah, yes, yes, that's good. Get two fuel now. We're going to continue training these guys. So, yeah, it's going to suck. I think they're barely along the way there, but still. You know what? Stop training these guys first. Train the subs. We'll train these guys a little bit more slowly. Get the subs completely down. We'll slowly do every single one of these because we do need fuel for the tanks and planes we do want to set over here. So, um, we can send 152. That's not bad. Ooh, RAF, tactical bombers, there you go. Steel belt, baby. 
Good old Seal Bill. We gotta beat some, uh, some. Hillbillies? Comrade Eric Blair establishes the Ministry of Truth. Oh, yes, loyal Comrade Blair has announced before the masses the establishment of the Ministry of Truth. The former Senate House of University of London has been refitted to suit the needs of the Ministry and provide a HQ for the newly formed Anti Revolutionary Cognition Public Policing Unit, the ARC. Poo. The crucial task of the M.O.T. is to directly combat anti-revolutionary behaviors and promote healthy, uh, healthy and loyal thought. Responsibilities of the M.O.T. include the massive destruction of reactionary literature and a necessary falsification of historical events that tarnish the reputation of the revolution and production of news media, education, and entertainment for the populace of Britain. Ignorance is strength, my friends, and Eric Blair for a brighter future. For a very bright future, my friends. One where we have freedom and liberty and democracy. Yes. Yes, yes. Happy 1937. Oh, yes, they're already. The Republican Arsenal. Hmm. I love that stuff. I love getting more soft attack, but... 37. Really, this one is probably going to do... I like getting more... Honestly, ooh. When is this artillery? You know, I've played this mo game for so long. Artillery research speed. Does that only mean this line for artillery? Or does it also include anti-air? Because usually, I think it's just just artillery, not even anti-air, so... That's why I usually like to choose the, the gun stuff instead, sometimes. Uh, we don't even have a lot of artillery right now, anyways. More soft attack for guns would be nice, but it's really so small, it doesn't even matter too much. But the research for this stuff is pretty good. Because we're going to be researching a lot of gun stuff anyway, soft attack breakthrough. Um, I'm going to go with this one. Republican Small Arms Factory and Field. Let's go with that one. After this one, uh, military industry, that's not bad. Not great, but not bad. Military factory constructors be more factory output would be nice. I like getting more military factories right now. It's only three. I mean, we could really use it. Don't get me wrong. Like we could really, really, really use it. Holy crap! But thank you. Hmm. Keep building them up. I think the next one we will do because I really, really want the extra research stuff. That's gonna take so long. One, two. Do we need? Okay, so we need. All the following. Uh, expand local initiative, which we won't do. Scotland. Mobilize industry. And Northern England. So really, we've got to get through one, two, three, four, five, six. That's going to take too long to get down there. A newly Enfield. Oh, look at that one first. The rifle supplied by the factory is formerly owned by the Lee Enfield. This will constitute an overwhelming majority of our infantry weapons. However, at least according to our gun connoisseurs, the weapons produced by the Birmingham Small Arms Factory have the reputation of being more suitable for offensive maneuvers and might change you might be in... Order. One, two, that's not good enough yet. Michigan, huh? Oh, we're down here. Look at that. We're already getting attacked. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. You're really on defense, huh? Nice. Hold on to Philadelphia, baby. These federal boys aren't going to win or beat us. I swear to God. Oh, yeah, baby. Get that stuff. Oh, let the French tanks roll out. Autobots roll out, baby. Get to Atlantic City. Oh, there goes Canada. Nice. Let's spot a kid if you want to that. Please go ahead. Boom, boom. I'm going to defender. Sure, that's fine. For now. Baby, that is so nice. Y'all did a great job. Oh, fed boys. You know what's worse than a fed boy? Two fed boys. Ministry of Truth, my friends. I can only get how much? 1.2 every day? Pretty nice. And we got concentrated finally. My bad, guys. Totally, absolutely my fault for that one. Construction. After this, uh, we, we really could use some more fuel. We could really, really use more fuel. We're going to go fuel refining. And just focus on getting more fuel, more fuel, more fuel. Uh, what else do we have here? Yeah, no, this class is fine. This stuff is going to take a long time to do. Getting all that stuff done, which is nice. We need more guns. We need more tanks. We just need more everything. Alchemist Spartacade. We've taken many gold medals in the events, making us the clear victor of the Spartacade. Go Union of Britain. Nice. Great. We're still increasing this at all? No, we're not. That sucks. That's alright. We could help them down there, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay, guys, actually. Hell yeah. Very good. And now they're attacking us once again. Love it. Too bad it ended. These guys are attack. Could you actually push through here? You might be able to push, maybe. Yeah, it's definitely a maybe. How is the air superiority over here, at least? It's going okay. It's definitely okay. Not great, but it's okay. You know what? Screw it. Boost it up by 50 more. You guys are still doing okay over there. We'll see. Good. One, two. That's not too bad. Oh, yeah, now you probably going to lose. Syndicalism spreads the burma. That looks pretty good. 
Oh, look at that! Ah, the American Union showed up down there. Nice. <clears throat> Good. All right. Dutch elections, 54. Is it going up or down at all? I mean, our guys aren't really in the battle too much, but 56 is good, 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 good. Ooh, nice. Three more days. 58, nice. Look at that. Our air XP going up. Army XP going up. Nice, nice, nice. We're going to immediately go ahead and grab more fuel. Hey, Swish Gaming, thanks for joining, guys. Thanks for joining. Copeland's joining. Rise of the Vaz. That is disturbing, yeah. Definitely disturbing. Anti air is not too bad. Uh, support equipment. Actually, these tanks need support equipment. Oh, we don't have enough army XP. Oh, why? Why do you pain me? How much is this going up every day? Actually, do we have anyone we can grab for that stuff? Chief of the army. Ooh, supply consumption would be really good. Ooh, more daily. Ah! We could really use that, but still. Division attack is not bad, but it's only... Mm, it's not bad yet. Oh, there goes Spain. I like this one. Better organization and such. Ah, good. How many fine folks can we send to the CNT? Just one? God dang it. Well, we do have the tank, so... They're not attacking them down here still, which is fine with us, but, you know, whatever. Uh, any other planes we can spare, maybe, perhaps? We don't have that many spare fighters. How many fighters can we actually send? Oh, 100, that's nice. Nice, Central Industry Research. Very good, very good. How much longer are you going to take to deploy? Oh, you're done. Good. Good. I knew the end because it's pretty quick. And then we can try... Oh, wait, I, oh, this one too. Actually, oh, sir. I want to do revolution. I really want to do revolution. I need... We need those civvies, though. Ooh. I want them civvies badly. But revolution. But more construction speed maximism for the million. British... Britain lives and marches on. That's pretty strong. I want to expand industry first. Wales in the Midlands. A capitalist regime of old neglected Wales in the Midlands for centuries and allowed, if not outright encouraged, the gradual depopulation of the region as its laborers migrated to England's southern cities for menial jobs. The great economic potential of these regions and its people thus remains largely untapped. For if for the benefit of all, we must invest. Hey, you guys are down here. Great. Beat those enemy planes up. I would, oh, we actually... Wow, we actually broke through. That is actually very nice. Good job, guys. With you guys here, I know I know it's probably hills or mountains here. Yeah, it's mountains. That sucks. Uh, we should still do okay-ish. Uh, just kind of hold on. Don't, don't waste yourselves on that stuff. It's not worth wasting yourself. Nice. 1.22. Not bad. All right, boys. It's your turn to shine as well. Do we have any commander here? Not really. Um, there you go. Eric Donin, Domin Smith. Pounds expert. Good. All right. Uh, let's see. You guys come here, maybe? See what you do? 50% worst part. Not bad. Not bad. Go here to go here. That's much better attack than this one. Feels looking not too bad. If that's the case, a lot of these guys must be finishing up. Oh, wow. Wow. Big ship, huh? That's, yeah, that's not a great ship, but well, you know, obviously still take it. I want you guys to start training. And finishing your training. That'd be good. Ooh, they have two divisions. Yeah, go in here first, help defend. That's fine. Syndicate stuff over here. Yeah, I'm not going to attack over there yet, just yet. That's pretty much suicide, so we don't want that. Alright, not bad. Ah, they're attacking us here too? Can they actually pierce our armor? They shouldn't be able to, right? No, they're not. That's good. Anything here? Anything here? I do want to lower this eventually, but we'll probably... It's 38... Oh, mm, we could probably wait to do one of these actual ministers and stuff. They're attacking with a lot of divisions, though. It's not ideal. Hopefully, you're learning He's really good in defense, though. He's really good. The Mozambique Bush War. Very nice, very nice. The world's falling apart, which is awesome. You know, retreat and come back. A newly infilled. The rifles supplied by the factories formerly owned by Lee Infield still constitute the overwhelming majority of our infantry weapons, however. At least according to gun connoisseurs, the weapons produced by the Birmingham Small Arms Factory have the reputation of being more suitable for offensive maneuvers, and change might be in order. A third option would be not to prefer one of the both and keep the Republican Army flexible instead. Uh, let's see, not bad. Gain Republican Small Arms Factory Enfield. Not bad. Give Birmingham a chance. 
This one gives me more breakthrough instead of defense. Stay flexible. 50% uh, bonus. I don't want to lose any more PP really right now. And we already chose Republican Small Arms Factory Enfield. We already chose this one. So wait, is that a National Spirit or is that just... That's just a manufacturer. So we already have them. So you might as well stay flexible and not lose political power with them. Uh, yes, expand industry next. Oh, you might as well help out there, right? Uh, come back over here and see what's going on. Uh, are they... Yeah, they're attacking. Can you guys actually win here? That'd be nice if you could, but you might not be able to win in Baltimore just yet. Well, we're not taking any attrition, so I'm okay with attacking for now, but... Taking over the river sucks. Uh, it's kind of getting better or worse. Yeah, I'll keep, keep going for now. We'll see what happens. Good. Okay, keep an eye on fuel. We're doing okay. Wow. A lot of things going on here. 60. Yeah, with our support here, we should be able to win here. So after this one, we'll do a revolution. This will reform the country business. Of course, like I said earlier, it's not going to be very boring. I forgot. I read this one already. Cool. Awesome. Ooh, more army XP. That'd be really beneficial right now, though. This would be really beneficial. All these focuses seem very beneficial for us to do. Seems super beneficial. One, two. It's okay. Not great. Could be better. Ugh. I don't want to lose any more fuel, actually. How, how, how much are you training? Are you almost done yet? Oh, we're only training this group, and they're still taking a while. But they're almost done. They're almost done, which is really nice. That's actually really, 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 really nice. Uh, they're almost done with another carrier. They'll have another interwar heavy hole eventually, too. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Don't attack there yet. Attack here because they're very, very weak. Hey, more PP. Nice. Uh, since we're in the field already, I want to get more army XP every single day. I really think we could use that. Chief of the staff is not bad. Uh, speed's not bad. Armor, division, attack, and defense. Population would be nice. Air Force, tank stuff. Yeah, we'll go probably go with tank stuff. Heart attack and armor. Speed and defense. Let's do a ball hill. Ball hall. Oh, why not? Nice. Alright, so 37. We, we definitely need to get this thing. Yeah, pickers. Go ahead, go ahead. Has he learned anything yet? Nope. Which sucks, but whatever. Hang out for now. Move down here so he can take the territory. Get pretty fast. I love it. Go up here, go here, break over. Nice, there you go. Hey, there goes a black revolt too. Actually, how's the South Africa looking? Have they invaded yet? No, they're not. They're just gonna hang it out. And you guys, Belgrade Pact. Good job, guys. Kill each other off. We're doing okay down here too. Not great, but we'll see what happens. Sovereigntists dominate Middle Africa. All right. Raymond Briggs, Panama is Gonorinos. Which sounds kind of disgusting to say Gonorinos, but whatever. Hey, they already reunite Russia in 37. Bah, wow, the Vaz restores glory. Holy crap. Uh, extraction would also be very nice to get. This is stuff is okay. We have quite a bit of army or air and XP. Let's grab some artillery first, though. Very, very good. Awesome, 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 awesome. We actually got Baltimore. Look at that. Nice. Good job, guys. Uh, actually, coming over here first would probably be very beneficial. Delmarva. How's the rest of the front? The front's looking actually very good. Yeah, with the Black Revolt spawning and get the cars. Not good for them, but whatever. Taking a while over there. Um, you could probably actually have out right here too if you really wanted to. That's fine. Come back over here. What's going on? Not bad. That's pretty good. Hey, five arm makes me nice. Do we have any extra motorizer tanks? Tanks are looking okay now. Motorizer looking okay. Anti air could be improved. I'm. I want to throw engineers on her tanks. I definitely want to throw engineers on these guys. Come on, beat these guys up, and you'll be able to win on defense here, too. Uh, tanks, good. Another tank army? Great. Do we have another carrier? Nice. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Says you're taking forever to go there anyways. Do that, too. Anyone else here? Just go and repair, or, you know, train if you need to for now. That's fine. Over here, we're looking pretty good. They're still attacking us. Fine with me. Doesn't matter. 5 arm XP. We're still doing no stuff down here, which is fine. Good. If we can get this CSA to win, that'll be extremely good for us. Hmm. I gotta remind myself to keep looking at this stuff. Refiners would be nice, but I keep building civvies. It's only 37. Um, 100% is good. And then 90 as well. There you go. Keep building. 6 arm XP is not bad. Where are we at here? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Go over there. Make sure we don't lose. That is 
Oh, that was... Da I'm glad I went back down here. That's dangerously close to losing. Holy crap. Holy smoky fat daddies. Alright, looking okay down here. Not bad, not bad. Keep going around. The Savior Crisis is there. Very good, very good. More divisions is fine. Just for a nice little home army. Uh, at this point, cut it down by... Uh, let's not cut it down by too much. Cut it down by one, maybe. Vickers. 37. Anything else here? I mean, hey, let's do some maintenance companies. Let's try that. Let's do the minor tanks. Because we could probably really use that. Because right now, how many guns are we out? Because I want to save some guns. We need some. We def I want more arty. We gotta get more arty, more motorized. Um, motorized. Where are you? Yeah, we need more military factories. I'm gonna keep it on two support companies for now because we're definitely gonna need that for later. So, good. Fuel refining is good as well. Um, it is 38. I don't want to do anything at two at a time. And we're using tactical bombers for so operational integrity. Nice. Good. Fuel wise, how are we doing? You guys are all done over there. That's good. You guys do this as well if you need to. And we're gonna be losing more fuel, but that's fine. Give give our guys some time. We'll get it all done eventually. Are you guys getting attacked? Yes, you are, but you're fine now. And then uh, over here in Del Mapa, we did great. We come off. Are they really trying to go for DC? Holy crap. Baltimore? We're gonna go here first, though. That'll be good. All right, as a revolution, maximist fanaticism. I like the construction speed. Always watching, always protecting. I want to get more stability. That's that's a lot more stability. Wow, and fifty more political power. During these troubling times, is a it is paramount to stability and unity that the state defends the populace from the threat of themselves. The citizens of this nation are vulnerable, weak, and liable to act against their own interests. The watchful eye of the chairman will keep them from safe, keep them safe. Freedom can only per be preserved by destroying free will. Nice job, guys. This opens us up to get down here, too, so that's why I did that. Oh, they're still attacking us. Good. Seven army XP, not bad. Uh, that wouldn't be bad. Uh, we could actually use more war propaganda. Is it 38? Gun stuff, we already did. Naval stuff doesn't really affect us too much. I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Get more war support for now, because we're probably going to be in the offensive later on when we do go to war with the Reich's Pact, so. There you go, boys. Can you do anything there? Nope. All right. Hold yourselves. Hold yourselves steady and get in there now. Good. Nice. Can you actually win there? Uh, I kind of doubt it. If it goes dropped... Nope. 32? That's not good. Alright, so just hold for now. Wow! The Black Revolt has really damaged these guys a lot. It's kind of nuts to think about, man. I might shift these guys over to help take out these guys or something, or... Yeah, that's really bad for these guys. It helps that the CSA is not at war with the American Union state, but still. You guys are still looking okay, which is fine with me. Feels looking pretty good, which means... You guys train too. Oh, you guys are surrounded. Now nah, that's nice. Surrounded, cut off, and naked and afraid. Good. Logistics might be good. We're looking good right there. We're doing well over here. Um, smoke. Uh, that seems okay. We don't really need that one yet. Some light guns. Yes. So now we're building up heavy holes, heavy holes, and more cruiser holes. I've not really actually ed edited any of these divisions yet, or these divisions, ships. Dreadnought. Uh, we want more carriers, but we have nothing there. This honestly looks okay to me. That looks actually really good. Dreadnoughts, no, no. It's fine. Heavy hulls, nah. Nah. Nah, we're okay. I don't even be bothered with that stuff. Heavy hulls. Yeah, that battleship is okay. Make some light ships. Better light ships, maybe? Two. Better torpedoes, yes. Even better torpedoes. Sonar one. We're not going to make it yet because we want to get better sonars, maybe. Actually, do we have any? Yeah, screw it. We'll make them. Why not? We need a lot of screen, so that'll be good. Eventually. Eventually. Alright, over here. Are they attacking us at all? No. Man, they're looking incredibly weak right here. Can you actually win right there? No, there's still six divisions. Um, Really pushing on this one would be probably pretty good. Hmm. I'm just kind of hanging out for now. Not much is going on. I definitely don't want to find the mounds, though. Can you guys actually... You know, you might be able to take Washington. You might just be able to take Washington. The Western Command Center is looking real bad, though. Nice. Good job, guys. Can we actually send any more divisions? Because we have that extra tank division. No. God dang it. That sucks. Oh, oh, we can actually recall volunteers. That's so nice. Oh, my goodness. That's so nice. Please don't encircle us. Please don't encircle us. 
Keep building, keep building, keep building, keep building. When you're done, keep building more. Revolution. It's time to decide who we are. Is this simply a game for a rich young boy to play? The colors of the world are changing by day, and today we, Maximus, have the opportunity to do our part. We will have to decide how we want to reform this country after ideas. So, if we want to get cooed and stuff like that, we have to go down this way, but arrest our enemies. We'll go the legal way. I'm not going to arrest them. We'll go the legal way. The Congress of Trade Units has stalled in a fruitless debate over a proposed Maximus Law. Comrade Blair has proposed to hold a speech in a few days. While he's known as a gifted public speaker, he's not an orthodox Maximus, and might smuggle in some of his own points. Comrade Mosey takes the speaker's desk. Maximus fanaticism. The success of Mosey's revolution has solidified our complete control over the lives of every citizen. To maintain this control, we must enforce our ideology firm. Film, literature, music, art must all conform to Maximus standards. Schools must re-educate the children, and unions must organize themselves as a loyal vanguard of the chairman. All will love Mosley. Absolutely. Absolute unconditional love. Big love here. Law for Enabling Control blocked. Today, the talk has shot down the Law for Enabling of Control bill, and it's also handed in a letter uh, with sharp protests against their authoritarian government. Oh, those bureaucrats. The morning afterwards. As the sun rises on the Union of Britain, it still rises over a different country. A Maximus country. Oh, well, maybe should have mosey then. Or, uh, player. Whatever. Whatever. It is what it is. Do we have any spare tanks yet? No, we do not. Trucks? We have a few trucks. Let's, we got enough uh, support equipment to do this. Oh, look at that! He's a dictator. A ground protector. We love him. Oh, hurts the consumer goods, though. That's not good. Oh, so now with him here. Oh, hey, 1.8. Not bad. The Maximus, Maximus Revolution averted. Oh, uh, shut down the enabling control bill. Afterwards, signing a paper. Later protests against the government led by Oswald Mosley. It's clear sign of resistance against the Maximus government and will lead to unknown future. Hmm, you know what? Maybe let me go back. Let me see what the other side does. Alright, so the law for enabling of control actually passed. Today, the TUC, or the Congress of Trade Unions, has passed the law for enabling of control, handing our government the key to dictatorial power. We did it. This time, instead of, uh. Oh, he didn't get that one thing yet. The Grand Protector. Um. Uh, this time, I, I did, uh. Eric Blair to see what would happen. So. The morning afterwards. Cool. Hail Mosley. So this time, instead of Mosley leading the speech, just do Eric Blair and you get him. Nice. The Maximus Revolution. Yesterday, the British Congress of Trade Union has passed an enabling control bill, passing quasi-dictatorial powers over the government of Oswald Mosley. After a rousing speech by Eric Blair, promising that the necessary restrictions and personal rights shall only remain until they are, until the second they are not necessary anymore, the Union of Britain has been transformed into a Maximus country. Wonderful. Wunderbar. We love it. Ah, we love it, my friends. We absolutely love it. Great. And we're still doing, of course, a little bit behind in time from where we left off. But, wow. Martinsburg. Well, if you guys could win here, keeping these guys in place is actually really good. So then you can't move these guys around here too, so. Uh, Raymond, do you have anything else here? No. We're still 9 army XP, which kind of sucks. But we are currently still doing. Um, always watching. Always protecting. And then we'll go back and do Maximus Fanaticism. Because I do want to see what's over here. So. <sighs> we live in a period. You know, let's, let's grab this one. As much as I want to do Fortress Buster, which actually might make more sense for this one, but whatever. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. Manpower. Oh, Ministry of Truth. Volunteer only. Desire for Revenge. We have a lot more manpower this time. Uh, oh, Artie would be nice. Do we have any spare Artie? We actually do have a little bit of Artie. Engineers. Does give us a little more soft attack. Quite a bit more defense. Does lower our armor, though. Uh, it, just more soft attack would be so nice. It would be so nice to have. There you go. How is the South African War going? Actually, you guys can probably do this. I'll give it like five more seconds. Five, four, I lie. Let's go. There goes Haiti. Goodbye, Haiti. And happy 1938, everyone. Hope you're having a tremendous, tremendous year as we are losing the battle for Washington. Oh, that sucks. Slowly losing. Actually, we're not even really in the battle. It's all the CSA soldiers doing their stuff right now. Uh, you guys are no longer defending, huh? That's fine. Yeah, that's kind of sucky. Actually, you might be able to win there. Yeah, fighting this part of the front really sucks, but whatever. Force rotation, very good. 38, remote research speed, thank you. Improve that guns, get better stuff here. Nice. Conscription crisis in Quebec. Very nice. And I'd blighten the Smuggler's Island. The Writers' Union Publishing House has released today a new book by the famous English author and Congregationalist Edmund. I need Enid Blyton. Secret of a Lonely Island is about the thrilling and romantic adventures of the siblings Julian, Dick, and Anne, their cousin Georgina, and their Timoth dog Timothy, or Timmy. While on a holiday with their union group in the Hebrides, the children stumble over mysterious events including a lonely island, strange ships, and mysterious lights in the night. But with wit and courage, the five friends are able to overcome any menace. Blyton surely is a great, tremendous author. 
Fanaticism, yes. As you see, I'm, I'm, I'm beelining down this path to get this one. And then I still have not done anything with it in the third international, so it is what it is. Whatever. I love his hat, man. I love his hat. I like hats in general. Hats are nice. You know what? Just extend it all the way down. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, hmm. Oh, they actually got in there. Darn, that sucks. You know what? Hold here. Get back down here and go in there. There you go. Just take more land. So we have more of a front to cover then. I don't want to go too much further than that right now. How's this? How's this looking right now? Well, we're winning the now winning the battle of Washington, which has been raging off for at least a month now. Actually, after this one, we'll do it. Britain lives and marches on. We say that the Union of Britain is not dead. We say, and I ask you to say with us, uplift your voice in this great meeting and in the heart of Britain. Send to all the world a message: the revolution lives and marches on. Very good. Lots of political power. Very good, very good. Then we move in. Actually, let's just bait him into attacking us by just by defending here. It's almost fine with me. Uh, well, my army XP is not great, but not bad. Oh, we're still winning here. Sort of. Maybe. I don't know. I had intelligence. Oh, Gandhi. Robert Flood, if you like to read about that, please go right ahead. Head of intelligence would not be bad. I think I'll go Navy next. Yeah, let's go Navy next. Bulgaria and Serbia? Uh, we're still kind of losing here, but it's okay. Becoming a Panzer leader. A Hills fighter is very nice. And don't want to forget about this. I keep forgetting about this. At this point, let's keep going now with this and a military factory at the same time. So we'll go with three things at the same time. Uh, keep working on the civvies first. So we'll always, from here on out, have a civvy, milli, and refinery being worked on for now. Oh, hello. Oh, they joined the Eurasian block, all right. Now it's going to really lower our fuel, but that's fine. They'll probably actually be able to work through that pretty quickly. Um, anywhere that they can actually do well against you, maybe? What's going on up here? One. We actually want to get some. Oh, yeah, with allies we can. Hey, good job, Chile. Now, are we losing the battle? Yes, we are. Now, these guys are exhausted. Continually funding more soldiers into here, which is fine, whatever. Get more army XP anyways. Actually, how's Raymond doing? He's not really learning that much right now. Hmm. Disappointing. Actually, you don't need you guys here anymore. Here we go. Maximism for the millions. Freedom is to serve a cause. Happiness is fulfilled by duty. Liberty to liberate is to liberate your mind from mental corruption. So say the posters that line the streets of cities, towns, and villages across the nation. Posters plastered in mass by a loyal laborers fulfilling their duty. And Moses aside, it matters not who you are, low, lowly milkman or brave operative of the R.E.D. Both serve their part in the machine of a nation. Maximism truly is the ideology for the masses, for it preaches the importance of the individual as long as they work in collective or in the collective. A single person driven by self-interest can achieve nothing despite the best efforts where they will one day die and be forgotten, however. Millions of people all working together are able to build a utopia. One that will last long beyond their natural lives. One that is built from the souls of individuals, preserving their spirit, and providing immortality for the mass. You may die, but you will live on through the chairman. The people love Mosley. Who doesn't? Everyone loves Mosley. Um, did I choose anyone here yet? I don't know if I have yet. Uh, I'd rather do research for now. Carriers, I like them thick. If they're not thick, I don't want them. Oh, yes, baby. Yes. Not bad. Pretty good. Anything else here yet? Uh, just ship stuff. It looks like mostly. Yeah. It's fine. Any other ships? Nope. And that is okay. Look at all that peepee gone. But we shall conclude this episode by reading about Britain within the Third International. Britain's political factions advocate quite different foreign policy approaches. With the turbulent 1936 session of the Tuck at an end, Britain's place in the world, and especially its relationship with its socialist comrades of the Third International, must be reasserted and assessed. Cool. Actually, we're called the Red Ready Revolutionary Exportation Directory. Very cool. But if you enjoyed this video, please do consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when the second Valkyrie will probably break out and we're going to have to defend all of our allies from the tyranny of reactionaries and autocrats. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.